Traditionally, it is a day of ceremony. I, Barack Hussein Obama, do solemnly swear. I, Dwight D. Eisenhower, do solemnly swear. Grandia. I, John Fitzgerald Kennedy, do solemnly swear. With rituals stretching back to America's founding. Joe Biden's is the 59th US presidential inauguration. And across those more than 200 years of history, there have been some standouts. Times when images have become iconic and words have captured moments of generational change. Ask not what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country. Moments of political transition. In this present crisis, government is not the solution to our problem. Government is the problem. And sometimes moments where Americans were told what they most wanted to hear and maybe needed to believe about themselves. There is nothing wrong with America that cannot be cured by what is right with America. Messages have been sent to both allies and adversaries. We shall pay any price, bear any burden, meet any hardship, support any friend, oppose any foe to assure the survival and the success of liberty. From this day forward, it's going to be only America first. And a few inaugurations are remembered only because something bizarre happened. Like in 1841, when William Henry Harrison wanted to prove he was tough by speaking for two hours on a cold, wet day, purposely without an overcoat. He died of pneumonia exactly a month later. And 12 years earlier, when Andrew Jackson threw open the White House to anyone and everyone, it got so out of hand, he had to escape his own party by climbing out a window. But the ones history most remembers are the ones that captured a moment and seemed to bend it to the new president's will. In 1933, a nation teetering on the brink of economic ruin heard these words. Let me assert my firm belief that the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. And by all accounts, the national mood began to change. Perhaps appropriately, the most famous inaugural address was delivered by the president often considered America's greatest. In 1865, as the Civil War drew to a close, Abraham Lincoln called for unity. With malice toward none, he said, with charity for all, let us strive on to finish the work we are in, to bind up the nation's wounds. Words that once again resonate in this deeply divided America of 2021. Kamal Santa Maria, Al Jazeera, Washington.